Is it in the Quran? Yes. But I didn't quote it from the Quran. I quoted it from the Bible. That's in the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should sin, and God is not the son of man that he'll repent. And when I read that, I said, now wait a minute. If it says here that God is not a son of man, then how is it in the New Testament it's saying Jesus is son of man, how could he be a God? I took it to one of my preacher friends and I said, hey, look at this. What are you saying about this? You know what he said? He said, that's a big S, son of man. The other one's a little S, son of man. Now, I think, I think you already know, as most of the audience knows, there's no such thing as upper and lower case letters in Aramaic, Hebrew, or Arabic. It means they lied again. And then, another subject, another subject, saying Islam spread by the sword. Islam spread by the sword. I heard so many preachers telling me, get away from these Muslims. Islam spread by the sword. 604 pages, 114 chapters, 6,666 verses. Depending on how you count them up, guess what? And many words in Arabic for swords. Say, Muhammad, Hussam, I think 16 words for sword. Guess how many times I found the, any of those words in the Arabic? Zero. Not once. In the Bible, just the word sword. Over 200 times. Oops. Wait. You asked me. I'm just telling you. So when I take my Bible to the preacher and I said, excuse me, it says here that Jesus said, I did not come with peace. I came with a sword. And it's time to sell your coat and buy a sword. What did that mean? You know what he said? Listen to this. You'll never believe how people can lie. He said, don't you know this was done in Italy where they transcribed this stuff, the Latin, you know, it was in Italy. Rome is in Italy, don't you know that? I said, yeah. He said, and they would work by candlelight at night and it was hard to see, yeah. And while they were trying to translate, you know, put this down in the Latin language, you know what happened? They were eating spaghetti. The Italians, they like spaghetti. And spaghetti fell down and it was made an S. It was word. It wasn't sword, it was word. He said, I came with a word. Now, you know what's wrong with that? The word for word in Koine Greek is logos. Now, how did they turn logos into sword? By dropping spaghetti on it. And here, excuse me. But what does it mean, sell your coat and buy a word? What is it, a game show on TV? I'd like to buy that word right there for $100, please. What is this? And the more I talked to them, the more I could see lie after lie after lie. And finally I said, you know what, I don't need to be in a religion full of liars. But it didn't convince me about Islam yet. Where I got convinced about Islam is over a separate subject. And then the Quran and the Bible backed it up. Right there, buddy, in the heart. Because nobody can play with your heart. That's yours. You own it. It's yours. You can do whatever you want with it. It is yours. Right? Yes. That's the one thing nobody can imprison. They can lock me in a prison, put me in a box, throw me in the ocean, but they can't control this. That's mine. That's yours. You own it. So if you get inside of that heart, like I did, and clean it out and throw all the trash and the garbage out of there, throw the lies out of there, the misconceptions, the prejudice, and just give it all up and say, you know what, I belong to God. I just belong to God. God, guide me. And that's what I did. And when I did that, I had this strange impression I need to put my head on the ground. And so I did that.
And with my head on the ground, I said these words, Gabriel. Oh, God, if you're there, guide me. And when I got up, I realized something. I'm the one with the problem. The world's not the problem. I was the problem. And from that day to this day, 19 years, I'm saying the same thing every day, 17 times a day. Edina Sarathamus the King, guide us to the straight path. Edina Sarathamus the King, guide us to the straight path. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm not psychic. We don't believe in psychics and magic and all that stuff. We don't. But I'm going to tell you something. And now you, are, you brothers and sisters, are going to see something strange. Because Gabriel and I never met. We're not setting this up. He doesn't even know what I'm going to say. But Gabriel, you've been praying in your heart, asking God to guide you, or you wouldn't be standing there right now. Is that true or false? That is true. There you go. There's your verification. He said that's true. And I know it because I've been through this again and again and again. Thousands of people I watch come to Islam again and again, just like Gabriel. They're looking for truth. They're not looking for Islam. They're not looking for the Quran. They're just looking for truth, real truth. And because there's only one God and only one way to get to God, it has to be on His terms and there's only one way. And we said it in Adina, in the Lahi, Islam. The only thing Allah wants from you is this simple thing, your heart. That's what He wants. Give Him your heart and everything else will be fine. And how you do that? I'm going to give you five words in the English language. They have to be all at the same time. Surrender, submission, obedience, sincerity, and peace. Do you want those things in your life? Yes, sir. I do too. Everybody in this room wants those things. All at the same time though, surrender, submission, obedience to His commandments. You know the Ten Commandments. We got the same thing. It's the same thing. It's not a new religion. And then sincerity, to be sincere. No lies, no showing off, no riyadh for Allah only. And finally, to be in peace with whatever He gives you, say, okay, thank you. Even if you like it, thank you. If you don't like it, thank you. Anyway, because it's from Him. Be in peace with it. This word in Arabic is one. It takes five words in English. You know what the word is in Arabic? No. Islam. Islam. Really? That's the word. Oh, oh.